Israel is building a massive river right in the middle of the desert. This is happening in one of the driest places on earth. When Israel became a nation in 1948, it faced a brutal truth. There was barely enough water for its people, let alone farming or industry. So the pioneers came up with an idea so ambitious it sounded insane. Two thirds of Israel is desert. The Negev alone covers more than half the country. For decades, experts said it could never support large-scale agriculture or cities, but Israel refused to accept that. Instead, they asked one bold question. What if we could make the desert bloom? The desert is not supposed to have rivers. No lush valleys, no running streams. Only heat, dust, and silence. Today, we uncover how a tiny country is turning the impossible into reality. They decided to build an artificial river, a national water system that would carry life from the north to the south. This was the birth of the national water carrier. It began at the Sea of Galilee in the north, Israel's largest freshwater lake. From there, engineers designed a 130-kilometer network of pipes, tunnels, and open canals. Water would be pumped uphill, across valleys, through mountains, and finally released into the desert. It took years of planning, massive funding, and unwavering belief. But when the project was completed in 1964, everything changed. The Negev Desert started to bloom. Today, Israel has taken the vision even further. Over 80% of its drinking water now comes from the sea. Five huge desalination plants along the Mediterranean turn salt water into fresh water every day. That water is then fed into the same national network, creating what some call a man-made river flowing through the desert. But it's not just about moving water. It's about using it wisely. Israel pioneered drip irrigation, a technology that delivers water drop by drop directly to plant roots. This method cuts waste by up to 60% and has made desert farming profitable. From tomatoes to dates, from vineyards to solar farms, the Negev has become a global symbol of innovation. Now, Israel is planning something even bigger. A new mega project aims to connect the Red Sea to the Dead Sea, creating a continuous flow of water across the desert. Part of that water will be desalinated and redirected to the Negev, expanding the man-made river even further. If completed, this project could reshape the future of the Middle East, providing water to neighboring countries and creating peace through shared resources. The impact of the project on the people. A man said, when I was a boy, there was only dust here. Now we grow fruit for the world. What began as a survival project became a story of human determination, a nation that turned scarcity into abundance. The desert still remembers what it was, but Israel has rewritten its story. From barren land to blooming fields, from thirst to rivers of life. This is not just a story of water. It's a story of vision, resilience, and faith that even the driest land can be reborn. How Israel built a river in the desert. Innovation, persistence, hope. If Israel can make the desert bloom, what's your excuse for giving up on your dream?